Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to get the upgrading system. There's those towers I made. I could just wall it off, but I'm having trouble getting this section done here. And I'm trying to figure out if I should have a ramp coming down and turning in. I don't know what to do, I'm just standing here doing nothing. I am going to clear the trees in the way. Oh, I knew there was a dude going to come. Must hit him in the chest. They're here. Oh, that timing. Mess of the bull, you get the hordes, man. I'm running out of mouse pad, man. What is this? Oh, it's another one. I just killed one like a minute ago. I just got in the game, dude. Just want to clear some trees, but no. I'm still struggling the waste logs. I don't want to. I gotta let him go though. Okay, that's cleared. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this route that I take to go down and get the buckshot and the resin. So I take the first one and then I go jump straight on the second one. There's no items that are of value between these two places. Except for the cloth, which I'm at a point where now where I've got a lot. Now I could build a zip line between these two, between here and the next part, but it's just too much of a bad angle and there's exercise equipment in the way, so it's gonna mess that up. It will take us to here if it did, and then have to go up these stairs, and the zipline's here. This one takes us quite far. Some cloth in here too, but yeah, not interested. And then we go in here, everything else is not worth it, and we've got some buckshot ammo. It's usually three or four, and three bottles of resin. And we're done, then we get out of here. There's coins and stuff if you want it, but mm, no, not for me. Sayonara. So it takes a couple of minutes. Buckshot ammo is definitely worth doing it for. Oh no! I just fell through the world. I'm just gonna swim. I could die, but I don't like dying. It's the same as the forest. If you just swim out to the ocean, you're gonna be fine. At least the water's here to catch you, because otherwise you'd fall through the map and you just keep falling forever. I haven't had this bug happen in ages. Here we go. Come on, let me up. Let me out. Oh man, it's not gonna let me out there. Go around. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm saved. While I'm here, I might actually see if there's... If there is actual turtles here. Let's have a look in the winter. I see sharks, but no turtles. I guess turtles just don't come when it's winter. Oh no! The floating debris broken still. Yeah, there's no turtles there. Urgh. Oh, I'm stopping. Very suddenly. Okay, time to test this out. Yeah, there's no branches or anything in the way, I don't think. So it seems a lot more realistic. Yeah, I'm happy with that. If you're wondering what day I'm up to, day 172. I don't even think I ever went this far in the forest. Now I've basically got to go to the golf course. Quickest way is going to be going over the mountain. Why is this snow? Oh, look, there's snow there. If I stand up, it makes the snow disappear. Weird. I'm going to put all my rope away because I know there's going to be a lot of rope in there. And it's like four in the afternoon, so I've got to make haste. Oh, this looks so much better. Glad I can go through without it looking unrealistic now. Now, since playing, I have built a couple more zipline towers. I'm trying to think from the last episode where those were. I don't know if this is a new one. I can't remember. I don't think so. It's one I built on an angle. I had to, otherwise the ramp wouldn't fit. So it just cost a little bit more to build. This one is probably not new. Got no idea. This is where it starts becoming a problem. <laughs> because getting over this mountain is going to be quite tricky. This is as far as I've gotten. The next one doesn't work too well. It kicks me off. But bringing the logs up to this point, man, is a nightmare. Yeah. But heading back down, I can head up here, which takes me to the place you're probably going to know. It is a helicopter crash location. And I'm going to move this tower a little bit over here. I can't move it too far because it won't reach otherwise. But this big mountain and hill area is in the way. Because I want to build a zipline tower going over. As you can see, it's very mountainous. That's where it is down there. Got to come over it. And there's this little spot here. Can of food, rope, cloth. I haven't actually looked at what's here. More cloth and more rope. There's tents. There is a can opener here. But I've already got it, so it despawns. Some booze, cash, bags of rubbish, medicine, tarp, rope. And this all respawns too. And then you've got this little cave. I don't really know what's inside it. You could seal it off with this. Yeah, 
And then you go inside, and you've got one, two, three crates. I'm pretty sure these crates respawn. That just fell through the ground. Fun. Cans of food. Yeah. There's usually bodies in here, but I've got the sensor mod. Also, something I should tell you. I've switched the sensor mod to disable dismemberment. Because that is against terms of service of YouTube, if you want to have ad revenue. And also, to make it more difficult, I won't be relying on limbs so much for food. The Greg recipe will soon be extinct. I'm just going to climb this mountain. Because I'm actually thinking about having the zipline go over the mountain in this spot. Because this looks a bit easier to go up. Over the other side, it's quite difficult, I believe. It's so orange. Yeah, I won't be able to build any towers up here because there's no stones or trees up here. Which may make it difficult. As soon as I go over that mountain... Oh no, it's starting to get dark now because the sun's over there. Yeah, there's no stones up here. It's most unfortunate. What if you built the forge up here? <laughs> Sun looks funny over there. Bruh, can't see a thing. It's gonna sleep on the top of the mountain tonight. Imagine how cold this would be, man. This would be freezing. Also got a good night's sleep. It's daytime. You have to live on cat food. Because I'm gonna find a lot of it in this cave. God, I need a better water solution, man. Cans of soft drink and water bottles, just not enough. It's annoying. I probably should have brought a couple of logs up with me. So I'm going to go down here over this mountain thing. Now I'm going to go this way. That's what the sled's for. I think it was designed to get around the mountain a little bit easier. Doesn't help with getting up it though. Hmm. That's like the best sled run I've ever had. I don't know what this lake is about. There's a cave over here. Really? What is this cave? Huh. Booze. I'm already started to fill up on rope and I haven't even got there. These glacier ice spike things, I don't know what they're called. They look cool. Oh, there's a camp over there. I don't even see that. There's no items here, it's just a save point. Okay. I like that they're adding content that involves caves or whatever that isn't part of the story. I wonder if I'll have zipline towers going down this one. Uh, I don't know, maybe. They take a long time to build. They're fun to build though. This takes a long time. Oh, that was trippy. It could work if I had zipline towers come down here. Because then I could split off and go for that, uh... I think that's the residential bunker and the two caves here. As well as... Something else. Bunker C? Rings a bell. I don't know why they have both of them listed. I have a feeling that they'll unlist the top one near the ocean. I don't know, maybe not. Should be sledding. Oh! This one of those bridges there. Waste of time to go backtracking. These can't be destroyed. Can't build on them either. Rude. I missed my zip lines. There's another golf cart around here somewhere in the golf course. I'm going to pick it up and bring it back. Or I might come across an IV. Is it cannibal here? Skinnies. I love hanging around the watering holes. Oh, some tents here. Should I open them? I should. Wow, a light bulb. Wow. A watch. Whoa. Whole bunch of them. <laughs> go, go, go. He just set himself on fire. Wish if they cut the rope. Okay. There was containers down the bottom here from memory. Um, screw this. I'm gonna have... Oh, my filters are being wiped. The lighter helps more, but it makes that blueness, mate. I'm already maxed out of rope. Just have to make a lot of, uh, zipline ropes. There we go. I made ten. There's a jump scare. Just drops a skeleton there. All these bones, you can't do anything with them. No items down here. Oh, yep, there we go. This cave doesn't really need a guide, I don't think. It's pretty easy to navigate. There's no enemies too, so you can take your time as long as you don't run out of food or water. Um, I think this way falls down. You do not want to go this way yet. You want to go and take out this barricade. Because otherwise you have to come back through again. Because here's the forge recipe. Buildable item. You know, when I was making the update video for this, I was looking up to see the melting point of a turtle shell. It's made out of keratin, the same that our hair is made out of. And fingernails, probably. So I'm sure it has a melting point, but it'd be pretty high. Basically bone. Okay, so here's the part with the thing. This. This here bar. This one bar. Can you combine them yet? Two question mark. Oh, you gave it to me again. Ah, uh, crates. So yes, get rid of all your rope and your zipline rope before you come here. And also, print out a whole bunch of zipline hook things. Another option is to bring a whole bunch of bones, but you're only going to make three bone on, which is going to use three rope. It's not a lot. 
That way you can come here and make the use of all the rope you're gonna find. I feel like they've built the caves in a way that's gonna prevent players from building in them, even if they added building in caves, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, I never really liked building in caves, I just used it for raiding cloth to make ropes so I could make zip lines. But that was in the forest. But also, so this is a part where you slide down. It's the point of no return. It's about player freedom, you know? If players want to build in a cave, let them. Maybe design the caves in a way that might make it a little bit easier for players to build. Grenade. Rifle ammo. That gives me three rifle ammo, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> it is rare as that stuff. Use a gas tank. Swim down in this one. The next place we're going to be going is one where the mining pick is so I can get the sulfite. It says it's made in Canada. And it's got no oil in it. 100 PSI. Is that how oxygen's measured? I've got no idea. I've never been diving. I never will. Rather die. And we're going up. This is leading to another swimmable area. There's sulfite there. That area's got nothing in it. I don't know why they do that. Unless I just want to release it without polishing it up first. There's some miners. Okay. There it is there. In all its glory. Okay. So some of it collects on your play and some of it drops to the ground. It zaps of lightning when you hit it. Can't carry any more solophite. It's making me wonder how much solophite's actually in the game. No, I haven't paid much attention to the caves in this one. Okay, so I got the schematic, I got that question mark item, and I got the mining pick. In the last episode, that's water down there. Three cans of food. I wish it would leave the can opener on the mat after you open each one. It gets very fast at opening the cans by the end. <laughs> Look at that. Gordon Ramsay, mate. What do I get if I drink water? An annoying way of drinking it. Ah, barely does any damage. The forest was brutal, mate. I think three sips and you were dead. Or was it five sips? Berries were the ones that nearly killed you. Meat. And the exit. I wonder what time it is. Please don't be night time. Ooh, it's bright. Ah, zombies. <laughs> I said zombies. I just want to save. I learned my lesson last time. Okay. Oh, this thing's hanging from the... Whoa. You can't get the rope from him, though. Ooh. It looks like they fixed the mutant situation, because when I was coming to these towns, they were just getting swamped by mutants, man. Mutants were just ripping them apart. You can get to do that. Dear. Ooh, she smashed him. There's a big fella there. There's a golf cart up here. But I think the perk of this golf cart is so when you finish the game, there's a golf cart there for you to drive back home. I don't know. I want to collect every golf cart in the game. You can't add them in, eh? Silly that you can't. I think there's one or two golf carts here. Hopefully there's two. Wow, a light bulb and a golf cart battery. Here it is. Um, I don't know why watches in the game, to be honest. A lot of sharks out here. Oh, I can eat that. A box of this spawns right next to the, my base that I can keep getting. I don't abuse it though. There lots of golf carts, but only one of them is functional. I don't know what that is over there. It's like heaven seeing these containers. <laughs> They're usually crap though, but I'm having a lot of luck now. Resin, that's good. A lot of batteries. C4, I don't need that. Circuit board. I've got actually tech mesh that I've been hoarding. I don't wear it, I just put it on the mannequin, it's too precious. Yeah, be careful opening containers here, like if you opened it and you're full, you'll launch it into the water. And as you can see, it's not probably the best spot to be doing that in. So I've got this idea for a late game item, and that is a buildable buggy. And the purpose of this buggy is not just to be like a better golf cart or a better night V. It's to pick up large items and take them back to your base. So I reckon we should be able to find like uh, fridges and ovens and stuff like that. But your player couldn't carry them back, but they could. Put them on the back of a buggy and drive them over. That's my idea anyway. Is this a... Oh, it is. Yeah, bah. I'm going to put a marker on this one. Ah. What could be... There's no golf cart symbol. Um, explanation mark, that'll do. That's sweet. You get two buggies here. I might leave that one there for when I finish the game. Now i got to drive this bad boy home. Oh, wait. What's over here? There's more golf carts. Uh, it's just a battery... And another battery. It's actually a shame that they respawn. I don't think they should have done that. Really need to work on scarcity. My nephew's supposed to be going to work soon. I should probably wake him up. He told me to wake him up about 45 minutes ago. He's a spear chucker. Nothing in these boats. 
How far do I gotta go? Bruh. It's a long way home. Whoa, 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 whoa. He set himself on fire. What are you gonna do? Oh, there's some um, graves there, but it'll be just... Um, bro, I'm so far away from home. Yeah, they'll just be filled with rope. Oh, there's another golf cart here. Crossbow bolts. Apparently there's a lot of uh, gore props in here, but I think Tony Macaroni's removed a lot of them with the mod. I wonder why there's a horse cart here. There's heaps of them underwater too. This might be an Easter egg. They're probably going to add horses to the game. Maybe. I mean, why else would you have these things here? There's heaps of them underwater too. Yeah, there's supposed to be gore props here. There's none. A lot of crossbow bolts. Eh, there's Virginia. That's the one I've been driving. Might as well switch them over. But I'm going to put a thing here. No. I can't remember what symbol I used. Explanation mark. Do I sleep here? The sun's not fully down yet. I'm just going to sleep and see what happens. No. Nope. And of course there's bloody... I have to let me know that they know I'm here. I'll take this with me. No, oh, I hate going across the water. I'm at the golf course now. There is Bunker C and I could access it, but I don't have the thing for it. So God knows where it actually is. It's hard to see anything in the snow because everything looks the same. It's funny, I've built so many structures in this area on my testing save and I've never come across where that Bunker C is. Half a battery. Deer's walking on ice. No, I don't think I'm going to be close to making it. Time to check where I am. Yeah, I definitely got in this way. Ah, it's my little spot that I like where I got charged by a moose. But I've got one bar of battery on this thing. Hmm, it looks like I'm in luck. Ah, because I have reached my zip lines. So I can just leave this here and it will recharge and I'll bring it back home eventually. Yeah. I need the soaker boards. <gasps> Possibly a use for the vodka in this game, aside from Molotovs. So you can make a med kit out of it. Could work. More trees I need to clear. And these ones, I haven't done anything around here. I wonder why I made this one so tall. I think it was like my trial one. I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't have any more firewood. That's annoying. Uh, what just happened? Oh. I'm going to focus on building the forge in the next episode. I want to see how many I can upgrade in one episode. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.